Ted Kexen was raised in Europe years before the Great Depression. I remember that in our little town in Hungary, never saw a bus or a, or a car ever. His family would escape the future horrors of World War II by emigrating to eastern Canada in 1930. And it was there that Ted met Mary. Mary and I met at a wedding in Toronto. She was a bridesmaid and I was an usher. Did he tell you he wanted to propose to me when I was 19? What happened? She stuck her hand out and said, I'm engaged to be married. So I didn't ask her to marry me. For Ted and Mary, love would have to wait. Over 30 years, in fact, when they had another chance. And Ted didn't waste any time. He came on a Friday. Saturday, I took him downtown to Temple Square. We both liked Chinese food, so we went out for Chinese dinner. And then Sunday was the day he proposed. For the new couple, the fun was just getting started. That's a good one. That's a good one. I was 14 years old, and I stood up pins to make money. Ted grew up on the lanes, while Mary, who once played in a city league in Toronto, though gave up the sport of bowling for many years, before it later became more than a hobby, it became a routine. First we bought shoes, because they were on sale for 20 bucks. And then we bought the balls, and then we bought the bag. The Kexans come here to Bonwood Bowl in Salt Lake, where everybody knows their name. Yep, we go three times a week. We try Monday, Wednesday, Friday, or Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we bowl three games. It doesn't matter how tired we are. We just bowl three games. Ted, get him, get him, get him, get him, get over. That's it. Oh. At 95 years young, Ted has failed to let up. And Mary has spent years trying to catch up. And on Wednesday of this week, she passed her best personal score ever with a 218, bitten by that competitive bug along the way. We came and bowled for my 86th birthday, and I got 165 in my first game. I think I beat everybody, and there was about 21 of us from my family here. Mary is a humble soul by nature, but when you put that ball in her hand... I don't know how many 86-year-olds get over 200. I don't know. It'd be nice to find out. It's a love story on the lanes, from the dusty streets of Hungary to Canada to Utah. Their own son-in-law, Scott Nielsen, who spent years pitching at the highest level of baseball for clubs like the New York Yankees, is inspired by their zest. When you think about 95 and an 86-year-old, and you, you look at how active they really are, and, and the things that they accomplish in their day-to-day -day lives. I hope I can do half the things that they can do if I live to be that long. Scott is married to Mary's daughter, Pamela, and he compared his parents-in-law to a pitcher who retired a year before he did. Tommy John went forever with a 26-year-long big league career. That's amazing to still be pitching at the major league level at 43, and then he went on to pitch until he was 46. And that's kind of the Mary and Ted show here is they do some pretty amazing things. He got it. Oh my gosh, he got it. And celebrating all along the way. I need that strike right now, God.